What's up guys, welcome back to another vlog. I know you guys read the title from today's video. Today's the day. We're literally on the way. I got Skyler with me. Hey. I, I honestly don't know how to like put together like what am I gonna say in today's videos because I'm super excited. Like it's been a long, long time coming. I don't know, the car's been what, downbird for I wanna say maybe like three months since the last time we actually did something or did an actual install on it only because again we had to wait for the wheels since august we had delays we had covid we had no i didn't have covid but it's just <laughs> a lot of stuff's been backed up due to covid and then the holiday season came around everything was just backed up backed up backed up and then now finally the wheels are here so make sure you get subscribed to the channel drop a like for this video Turn on your post notifications because this is the home stretch for the GTR wide body build, guys. Again, if this is your guys' first time, I'm Lance. The dream is just to build cool cars. And we are located here in the middle of the ocean, here in Hawaii. So support your boy. You never know, maybe we might have another project car on the way too. I'll see you guys at the shipyard though. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell, but literally right there is the stack of the wheels. I think that guy's turning the corner right now. You guys see that right there? Oh, brah. All right, guys. We're loading up right now, but here's just a little sneak peek of what it is. All right, we're back home. GTR's here. And say hello to the wheels, guys. Yes, I went with works wheels. You have to go. If this is a Japanese car made in Japan, kit from Japan, wheels got to come from Japan. We have the work Gnosis CV201s. Offset is at minus 18. But this set for the rears, we have it sitting at minus 52. But we're going to start off opening the fronts first, and then we're going to work towards the rear because the rear is going to be the most aggressive setup yet. I was going to inspect it in the beginning when we're at the shipyard, but what would it matter because I have to wait anyway. But also, I just want to give like a huge shout out to Donnie again from Charge speed usa uh they're the guys that supplied the kit and they were the guys that helped me supply the wheels i had these wheels specked out to like to the t so hopefully it's gonna come out nice but here we go Plastic film over it too. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> these are sick, dude. I didn't go with a flat face. I went with the step lip. Oh my god, dude. Here, let me just hold it up real quick. Look at that, guys. Holy crap unbelievable now this is the one that i want to see the most yes. oh nice thanks guys <laughs> oh. no joke almost too Two soda cans big. Oh, brah. Look at that. <laughs> oh. Brah. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God, dude. Bro, the lip is literally from my pointer finger all the way to my wrist. Dude, that's that's literally monster can size. Dude, that's freaking meaty, boys. Holy crap. All right, I need a, I need a personal break. We're gonna cut to the B-wall in three, two, one.
I don't know how many times am I going to say this, but I am in love with these wheels guys i went with the full triple black huge shout out to charge speed usa and to work wheels straight up killed it guys like here's a better comparison i know i shouldn't be touching it without it being coated it was literally stretched from my pointer all the way to my wrist when i ordered these wheels i wanted it or we spec'd it out to minus 53. works came back to us and they said lance we can't do minus 53 because they just can't go that far the closest they could do was minus 52. so that's why we have it as minus 52. it's only a millimeter so it's not going to make a huge difference but still these are the most aggressive wheels that works has probably ever made in this type of setup all right this is not the best representation but just to show how wide these wheels are holy crap that's not bad but when you go over to the rear side outstretch probably hand and a half this thing is unbelievably ridiculous i think i did it with my tiktok we used the sriracha bottle just because how spicy these wheels are but that's a good representation of how wide of a lip it is. Again, I just want to say a huge shout out to Charge Speed USA. Shout out to Donnie for helping me out with all of this. Even though it took such a long time, you know, just the communication between me and him and just everybody in between with work wheels, with Charge Speed. It's go time, guys. I don't know what more to say. Just to give a quick update for you guys. The next thing that we're going to be doing is working with everything underneath the hood as i said in my older videos we are going to be doing a bigger intercooler stock gtr intercoolers have two piece or it's a two piece underneath the hood we're going to do a lot of work we're going to be changing up the piping we're going to be changing the blow off valve we're going to be switching from math sensors to speed density kit i'm thinking about probably as well that i have the carbon fiber hood on just for the sake and the safety of the carbon fiber i am thinking about changing out the carbon hood only temporarily and put the stock hood on just so that we don't scratch up anything because we're going to be doing a lot of work in the engine base. Maybe we might even take it to the dyno with nothing on, like no fenders. I don't know if I want to put the hood back on, but we're going to have it probably Frankenstein dyno. So if you guys want to see that, comment down below. Let me know if you guys want to have the car fully set up with the wheels and the fenders, or should we take it in like Frankenstein with the cut up body and maybe even exposed hood. Literally, I cannot get over just the look of these wheels guys just look at that guys extra thickness i really thought the wheels were going to be super heavy but they're actually not they're slightly heavier than the advent wheels and the advent wheels are already like super light what i was expecting from this was going to be probably in the range of maybe like i don't know 60 pounds maybe 50 pounds nonetheless these things are beautiful new wheels are in and i will go to work and i'm going to pick up the video and end the video there well out of all the things that i needed to film i totally forgot to do an outro that day so this is me doing the outro it's literally 2 a.m in the morning right now i'm still trying to finish up doing the edit of this video so i'm filming this outro the day before the actual drop date of today's vlog if that makes sense anyways i hope you guys like the wheels drop it down in the comments what you guys think about the wheels personally for me i love the wheels i really like just simple looks and to me i felt like that was like one of the best options for me to go with so let me know what you guys think the gtr build is finally back in action we got the wheels now that we have all of that now we get the ball rolling with everything else. Like literally guys, I told you I am not going to be cutting my hair until we finish the build. That's like the promise I made to myself. I know it's kind of weird, but it's just a reminder that I need to finish the build. I need to finish the car. If you guys watched to the end of this video, I thank you guys so much for going through the whole video of today. And if you guys haven't done so, please make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Again, I have so much more videos coming for you guys. I'm really, really excited for what is to come for this year. And I'm really excited to get the car hopefully on the road by february i think we can get it done by february but nonetheless I, i'm i'm just like really really happy <laughs> that we have the wheels here so yeah i'm just gonna end today's video on one quick thing it's just something that i've been thinking about for the past couple of days because i ran into one of my old buddies from high school and like you know we're just catching up and whatnot and then he asked me like yo how's everything going you know we're just catching up and then he asked me like dude why did you start a youtube channel 
And then right out the gate, I was just like, dude, I just love cars. But like for the past couple of days, I've really been actually like thinking about it. Like, why did I do this? You know? And it really made me think back to something that Gary V said. Uh, if you guys don't know who Gary V, he's like an entrepreneur. He's the owner of Vayner Media, Vayner Sports, built his wine business of his dad all the way up from like, I don't know, it was like a $3 million or $6 million company to like 10X, like 60 million or something like that. There's this one thing he said where instead of people actually using or going to something as an escape, why don't you create content of the thing that you like to escape to? So shout out to all the like automotive vloggers that I watched, TJ Hunt, Dustin William, freaking Stradman, who else, who else do I watch? DDE, B is for build, like those, I probably, those are like the top five. Oh, and Eliminate, those are probably like the top five, type, top six guys that I've been watching ever since oh, forever, probably like five, six, seven years now. I would always watch their content, whether it's in between classes, from high school and then into college, or even after work, during my breaks on work, like all that kind of stuff. And when I listen to that podcast of Gary V, when he talks about like, instead of just watching content, why don't you create content of something that you escape to? And automotive was always like my escape. I love it. Whether it was driving my cars or whether it was riding my motorcycles, like that just was my escape. Automotive has always been my escape. So I guess that's why I decided to actually make a YouTube channel. I don't know where this channel is gonna go, but just in this time and space right now, just the whole process of creating vlogs, you know, making stuff, you know, I don't have like the best tech savviness or whatever it is, but just the fun part of creating vlogs and making my own. Like I used to watch all these other automotive YouTube vloggers and I'd be like, damn, you know, I wish I can do the same thing. But Really, I could have done it this whole time and now like I'm literally doing it. I would stay up late at night watching all these other automotive creators on YouTube and you know, just watching their content late at night and now here I am, two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, making my own automotive content. So it's just the whole fun part about it and I just, I just love it. You know, that's why I created a YouTube channel and I'm just having fun. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm super hyped for the wheels. Again, drop it down in the comments what you guys think about the wheels. I really wanna get you guys feedback. But just let me know what you guys think, honestly. And be honest, you guys aren't gonna hurt my feelings if you guys don't like it. And if you guys haven't done so, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Drop a like. I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, you guys are all called to be great. Be great in your own way. And always to remember, challenge your standards. All right, extra footage if you guys see this. Aaron came over to check out the wheels because he wanted to see it. He already opened up the front, so we're gonna get Aaron's first reaction to the rear wheels. What do you think about the fronts already? The flat, the fronts are, jeez, man. Okay, for everyone looking, like for the most part, some reason I was thinking polished lip. You open that box and like, damn, I'm so happy. <laughs> it's not, because it, oh man, it's so nasty looking. Yeah. All right, Jesus. go ahead, bro. I wanna get your reaction to this. I just want to know what the lip looks like. That's the main one. Oh, the lip is worth it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow! I can see why they tried to max the lip. Yeah. Dude, okay, so earlier today, I, I rested a sriracha bottle from here. Yeah. All the way up to here. And only the tip of the bottle made it. It's funny too, because like, I saw on the outside of the box. It says negative 52. I'm like, okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh boy. This is one of those things where like, you stack like soda cans in this. That's what we wanted to do. Dude. We wanted to do soda cans. Skyro was like, oh, you should grab monster cans. The big, the big yeah, cans. Yeah, yeah. And it was like. You could, uh, it would, it would, dude, these lips would swallow it. Worth the wait? Yes, 100%, 100%. <laughs>